we're gonna find the volume of the cap of a sphere, just the top of a sphere, and that cap has height h and a radius of r. And here's your sphere. The cap of this sphere is gonna look something like this. Now the height of this cap is little h, and what they mean by a radius of r is that the sphere itself has a radius of r. So that makes the equation of the sphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals little r squared. So we should expect there to be an h in the final answer, and we should expect there to be a little r in the final answer as well because the volume of a cap like this would depend on how big the sphere is as well as how tall this cap is. Let's see if we can set up the basic integral. We're going to slice this sphere into pieces. Each one of those pieces is going to be a circle or you could call it a disk with a thickness of dz. And we're going to add up all of the volumes of those little disks. The largest value of z in this region is going to be right up here at little r and the smallest value of z in this region is going to be right here at r minus this distance h. So our limits on z will go from r minus h to r. And again, what we're going to be doing is adding up the areas of all of those circles, and we'll be integrating with respect to z. Well, if we're going to find the area of each one of these circles up here, we're going to need to find the radius of each one of those circles. Now, if we're slicing this sphere horizontally, what we're doing in each case is we're fixing z at a certain value. So this z squared is just going to be a constant. The equation then of that circle is going to be x squared plus y squared equals r squared minus z squared, where this right here is the radius squared of this circle slice. If we take that radius squared and plug it in here, we know that the area of a circle is pi times its radius squared. So our formula is going to be, and now we just need to integrate with respect to z and plug in our upper and lower limits. With respect to z, r squared is just a constant. So if we integrate, that means we just tack a z onto it. Integrating z squared with respect to z gives us 1 3rd z cubed. And now we're gonna plug in our upper and lower limits of integration for z, and that is gonna give us the following line. Okay, now we need to simplify this a bit. I'm distributing this r squared through those parentheses there, and I'm going to foil out this big term right here. Now you'll notice that r cubed minus 1 3rd r cubed is 2 thirds r cubed, we're subtracting, so that's gonna cancel with that term right there. You'll also notice that we have a negative r squared h and a positive r squared h right here. So those two terms cancel, leaving us just with these two terms. And right now I'm noticing that I made a mistake on my signs when I was expanding this r minus h cubed. This term should be a minus here, and this term should be a plus here. Changing these two signs down here. I apologize for this, but I'm gonna fix it up. Okay, so I fixed this sign, and this sign, and this sign, and this sign. I now need a negative down here, and a plus here. So these two signs are fixed. And now distributing the negative pi through the parentheses gives us our final answer. Sorry about that little mistake, but uh, that answer is correct now. So hopefully this video will help you out, and I'll see you on the next one.